LevelSense Installation. When unboxing your LevelSense, you will find several items. A user manual, the LevelSense device, the floor leak sensor, the float switch, zip ties, the float bracket, mounting accessories, level sensor, and power supply. Wi-Fi setup, WPS or hotspot. Out of the box, the device is in hotspot mode, indicated by the white cloud LED. To configure your network, you must first join the device's hotspot. This can be done on most any Wi-Fi capable device. On an iPhone, go to settings and Wi-Fi. Join the network called LevelSense. Once connected, go to the web browser. On the iPhone, this is Safari. In the address bar, type 192.168.4.1. On this page, you will be instructed to enter your home Wi-Fi credentials. Remember, both fields are case sensitive. Once complete, press the submit button. After submitting, you will need to reset the device by pressing the reset button on the bottom right side of the device. After reset, the cloud LED may be yellow while the device connects to your network. If the cloud LED flashes red, reset the device. If it continues to flash red after a couple resets, the network or password is set incorrectly. Please read the password reset portion of the manual. If all four LEDs illuminate, your device is successfully online and has a claim code. You can also connect to your home Wi-Fi with WPS, if available, on your router. To do this, have both the router and the device near each other. First, press the WPS button on your router. Within 10 seconds, double-click the user button on your device. The cloud LED will go solid yellow for up to two minutes during this process. If the process fails, the cloud LED will return to white. If all four LEDs illuminate, your device has successfully joined your network with WPS and has a claim code. Joining Portal and Claiming Your Device Go to level-sense.com and click Portal in the top right corner or directly browse to the URL shown here. The first step is to register for Portal. Click the link located at the top right corner. Fill out the email registration form and submit. Check your email for the registration message. If not there, check your spam folder. Click on the link in the registration email which takes you to a password setup page. You can use the provided or create your own password. Click Reset Password. Once complete, log in. Navigate to the claim page. Use the drop downs to match your claim code. In this example, the claim code is green, yellow, red, yellow. Device configuration. Under the devices tab, click on your device. If you have multiple devices, they will list here. After your device is online for several minutes, you will see graph data for temperature and humidity. Water level will start to show after the automatic calibration process. Under the device detail tab, you can name your device. This name is used in the alarm messages. You can also reset the automatic water calibration or shift the calibration up or down from here. Silence Alarm will remotely disable the siren. Under Alarm Configuration, you can set up the alarm condition for each input. Configure which outputs, alarm, relay, or message, you want to occur when that input alarms. The water level will show calibrating during the first four pit fill and pump cycles. For temperature, set a safe minimum and maximum temperature. For humidity, set a safe minimum and maximum humidity. Power good will alarm after one to two minutes of power loss. Leak sensor will alarm when the contacts are in a pool of water. Float switch will alarm when the float is lifted by water. Under the alarm log tab, you will see the most recent alarms and who they were sent to. Hardware setup. Wireless sensors as shown. None of the three sensors have polarity. This means they cannot be wired backwards. Do not increase or decrease the length of any of the wires. The level sensor belongs in terminals 1 and 2. The leak sensor in terminals 6 and 7. 
the float switch in terminals 8 and 9. Mount the float switch with the provided float bracket and zip ties. The float switch should be mounted 2 to 4 inches above the pump water line. Thread the level sensor behind the float switch zip ties. Pull it as far toward the bottom of the pit as possible and secure it with another zip tie. Ensure it is pulled taut. For more complete information, see the Level Sense user manual on level-sense.com. For support, email support at level-sense.com or submit a request through our website under the support tab.